So after you clean up your valve cover, make sure that we mask off all the areas right here that has a gasket or the cap, just because it's nice and clean. And sometimes if you put too many layers of paint and you have a gasket on there, it'll push it out once the engine warms up. And that's just how it is because it's, we are dealing with spray paint. Now, some of you guys are wondering, why am I using spray paint? I could have Cerakoted this. I could have sent it out to powder coating. I could have used 2K paint. But the point of this video is to show some of you young guys uh, that you can do this at home with regular paint from Home Depot or AutoZone, okay? Now, I already have a spare that's getting Cerakoted yellow, so don't even worry about that. And I've done a bunch with powder coating. So we're gonna prime this thing first, and then we'll put a layer of paint. Now, I'm no painter but I do know that you need to have at least some decent idea of how to uh, apply the paint so nice and smooth strokes it is a little windy today so whatever we'll just deal with what we've got all right not too much because like I said I don't want this layer to be too thick where later on it pushes out so just gonna do this and I am using self etching primer which actually works really good and I've used it for I don't know 10 years or so so we got our primer down nice and dry next we're gonna hit it with white base coat I want white because I'm gonna be painting this yellow so I want my yellow to be really really poppy if I just paint yellow over this it might look a little dull and dark because this is a dark primer right here it's kind of like army green so we're gonna hit it with this real quick and then we'll let it chill for a second So the base coat's nice and dry, as you can see, all the corners have been covered, and you wanna make sure that you don't put too much where it runs, and we don't wanna make it too thick. Again, if you put the bolts on, it's gonna push out the paint, it's gonna look bubbly, and it looks like poop. It's still probably gonna do that, but whatever. Next, we're gonna use this VHT paint. This is just your typical yellow. I mean, I wanna match my car. I'm not trying to make a fake spoon cover here, so it should be slightly darker than a spoon cover, so let's get this started. Okay, nice, nice. So here's the finished product. What do you guys think? It looks so good, dude. Next thing I'm gonna do is just sand down the logos and all that stuff so it looks OEM. But you don't necessarily have to take your valve cover to a professional to get it done. Cerakoting, coating, powder coating, yeah, those are great, but they do cost a lot of money and not a lot of people have extra funds to do something like that. It's like two, 300 bucks or something when you could buy a can of paint for about $10 and take your time. So there you go. I'm gonna slap this on my wall because I've always wanted one of these for decor. Gucci.